Hello friends, this is DMC um, and this is my coffee of the month video for March 2020. Well, March started off so well, didn't it? And I hope all my viewers are staying safe um, at the moment. So let's get on with this um, video. The first coffees were two coffees very kindly sent in to me by um, viewer Brian. And it was the Starbucks Christmas blend and espresso roast. Both typical Starbucks coffees with that distinct roast. The Christmas blend was slightly smoother and less bitter. And I did prefer that one slightly. But both coffees scored a 3.75 out of 5. Um, definitely worth a try. They are quite expensive. Well, relatively, anyway, but definitely worth a try, those, those two coffees. The next coffee, the El Salvador um, Grumpy Mule coffee. And this one, slightly fruity and caramelly. It was smooth, but a little bland. And that one scored a 3.5 out of 5. But, sort of getting decent the grumpy mule coffees that i'm picking up at the moment the ones that i was getting at the start when they first started appearing in the supermarkets they were a little bit disappointing but the ones i've been trying more recently have been quite decent um the next coffees well it was the four sort of selection coffees from cafe points which were very kindly sent in to me by um, viewer Dave. So a big thank you to him for sending those coffees. All good examples of coffees from those um, regions. All nothing really amazing though. And the scores range from 2.75 to 3.5 with the highest scoring being the um, Peru Washed. So they were the ones that I preferred out of them. And yeah, it's um, Cafe Point Slovakia, those coffees. The next coffee, the another Grumpy Mule coffee, this one. And this one was smooth and clean tasting and quite well balanced. An interesting coffee that I had to drink um, quite strong though to fully appreciate the the flavour of this one and that one scored a 3.5 out of 5 another decent um, coffee from Grumpy Mule and the next coffee Lavazza Espresso one of the few Lavazza coffees I'd recommend it's an interesting espresso coffee but I would go for the beans um, rather than the ground coffee that this one was sort of comes in the sort of brick form and that one scored a three out of five i think i paid around three pound for that one but it can range anywhere from three pounds to five pounds so i would only really look out for it at that sort of lower end price um, but my coffee of the month goes to this coffee which is the caffeinate coffee easy all day daily drinker um, there we go, contact information there and a very well balanced coffee really fresh with um, praline hints and caramel hints it was smooth with an excellent balance between acidity and bitterness and that was the highest scoring of this month with a score of 4 out of 5 so well done to that one so i'd really like to hear from anyone who's tried any of these coffees let me know your thoughts in the comments section below if you like this video give it a thumbs up and if you want to see more coffee reviews in the future please subscribe to my channel i'm not far off 800 um, subscribers now so a massive thank you to everyone who has taken the time and effort to um, subscribe comment and like my videos um, so yeah, that was my coffee of the month for March, when for the majority we were still free to roam as we wished. 
and yeah, um, stay safe people, bye for now.